everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Bree, and fun fact about me is that chewing with your mouth open is one of the most disgusting habits. Ugh, every time someone chews with their mouth open, it just makes me cringe. It's like nails on a chalkboard. It's just so disgusting. But today's video is going to be another installment in my makeup stash or trash series. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. By the way, I am in a new location as you guys can see. I'm still figuring out my little setup. But this is my brand new apartment that Josh and I will be moving into. Actually, Josh just moved in. I will be moving in here in October once we get married. But I am gonna slowly start to move everything in here and start filming here. So from here on out, the majority of the videos will be in this location. We have a beautiful window. If you haven't checked out my apartment tour, I will put it up above so you can see that. But we're gonna hop right in. As always, I will put timestamps in the description box. That way, if you just wanna watch my review of the products I've used over the past two weeks, you can go ahead and do that. If you just wanna watch the preview of the items I will be using this week, you can do that as well. But let's hop into the products I've used the past two weeks. We're gonna start off with the items that I've already talked to you guys about that I already know that I love and I'm going to be keeping in my collection or I'm trying to use up but I'm still keeping in my collection so the first two things I see on hand are these two lip liners this one is the NYX lip liner in peekaboo and this is the essence lip liner in in the nude I really love both of these they are great lip liners I prefer the peekaboo over in the nude in the nude is very very neutral and nude but it's still a great lip liner it was only a dollar 99 so I'm gonna keep both of these in my collection the other product I'm keeping in my collection is the Becca Jack Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Palette. It is the Trio Palette, and I've talked about this before. I really love this. The only color that I didn't really use is the Blush Copper, but I really love these two shades. It's Champagne Pop and Pearl. They're beautiful highlights. So I'll be keeping that in my collection. For blush, I'll be keeping all three of these blushes. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Rose Champagne. I have the Milani Luminoso Blush. It's the perfect glowy peachy blush. It's beautiful. Love that blush. And then I have the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Between the Sheets. Now this one, I've slowly not become a fan of this. I'm gonna wait till it starts to dry up, and then once it does, I will toss it. And I will probably no longer purchase any more of the Super Shock Cheeks, just because I'm not a big fan of creams. I have a really difficult time figuring out how to work with the creams, and so yeah. I'm gonna let this one go. The other product that I'm keeping in my collection is the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. Oh, I'm so tired of this. I want it to be done. As you can see, we are really, really close to finishing it up. I only have the edges and the sides. I'm gonna take a break from this and then I will start using it again this next week and hopefully I will be finishing it up within the month. So yeah, I'm done with this, but I'm gonna still keep it in my collection. And then these items, I didn't get around to using the past two weeks just because I was going for more of a simplistic look and I didn't really play with pops of color or smoky eyes, but I'm still gonna keep these in my collection. These are the LOC by Tati Shadow Stick. I've talked about these before. I really love these. Just didn't get a chance to play with smoky eyes. And then this is the NYX Vivid Brights Violet Lip, li <laughs> lip Liner. Violet Liquid Lips, and not lips, this, ugh. the Violet Liquid Liner. I think this is a great liner. You guys know I've talked about this before, so I'm gonna keep it in my collection. Next up, we're gonna be talking about the products that are my trash items. So the first one is the Ampla Mascara Ampla Amplifying Mascara Serum. Guys, this is terrible. Now I will say the pro of this is that it is waterproof. If you cry, it will not smudge. But the downfall of that is because it is so waterproof, I have such difficulty taking this off. And because of that, I've noticed that every time I go to take off this mascara, I'm taking out huge clumps of my lashes. It has done more damage to my lashes than it has done good. The other item I'm not a fan of, I'm actually going to be returning, is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Primer. This is a great primer, I feel, for oily skin. It is not good for dry skin. I've noticed that I've started to break out a bit because it's just too drying for my skin. It's just way too matte for my skin. Yeah, I'm just not a fan of this, so I'm gonna be returning this. And then the final item that I wasn't a fan of was the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Now this is in the shade Buff Fist. Now the reason why I didn't like this is this is not my shade, and I cannot find my shade. I think it's supposed to be like Buff Ivory or something like that, Beige Ivory, but I feel like that is the most popular shade out there, and so every time I go to a drugstore, it's always sold out. So I will be returning this, wait until that one goes on sale, or wait until that one gets restocked, and then once it is, then I will test it out and see if I like the formula. Oh, it smells like paint thinner. I'm wondering if it smells like paint thinner, is that really good for your face? 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Okay, next up we're gonna talk about the products that I've been loving that are new to you guys. So the first two are the Velvet 59 eyeshadow palettes. We have the Exotic Lotus palette and the Rose Metals palette. Now this one I do prefer. I feel like you're gonna pick between the two. Definitely go for this one. This one is beautiful. This is the Exotic Lotus palette. It has gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I've mostly been using the matte eyeshadows. I didn't really dive into the shimmery shades, but I really love the combination. I think this is a very unique palette. Palette. And then the other one is the Rose Metals palette. Now this one isn't my favorite, but there are some shades in here that I just don't want to let go. For example, I love the Metallic Rose, Passion Flower. I love Rose Silver, 22K. I haven't really dived into these other shades. This one I will say I'm not a big fan of. It looks beautiful in the pan, but when you swatch it, there's not much pigmentation. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of pigmentation, but these are beautiful, beautiful eyeshadows, extremely metallic. I will be keeping this. Next up are lip products. The first one is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipstick, and this is in the shade Give Me Mocha. I really do enjoy this. Now, I will say the best way to apply this is with a very, 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 very thin application. As little as you can put on, the better results you're going to have. I'm really glad to have this. It's only $5 at your local drugstore, so if you're in the market for a great liquid liner, I mean not liquid liner, liquid lipstick, I would look into the Wet n Wild catsuit line. Next up is the Bite Beauty Matte Cream Lip Crayon in Pastille. Oh, this is beautiful. Y'all know this has been in my favorites. This is a beautiful, beautiful shade. It lasts not for a very long period of time, but it is a beautiful shade. That's it right there. I keep it in my makeup bag, so if I want to just switch things up, I can just pop it on without any issues. So yeah, I've been loving that. And then the other two, let's see here. This one is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Swank. I I really do enjoy this. I think I'm gonna wear this for my wedding, so I will possibly do a makeup tutorial using this within the next couple of weeks. So if you're looking for a very comfortable liquid lipstick, and if you don't mind it transferring, I would look into the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Liquid Lipsticks. And then the final lip product is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in the shade Kristen. Oh, this is a beautiful, beautiful lip gloss. I'm gonna put some on right now, because it's just a beautiful shade. It's super creamy, it's not sticky, it's very, very pigmented, and it tastes delicious as well. If you're interested in getting a really nice lip gloss. I would recommend Kristen by Anastasia. I know it's a very popular shade. I know they have a variety of other shades as well and they're extremely pigmented. If you're in the market for a really good high-end lip gloss, I would go check out the Anastasia lip glosses. I have been loving this duo. I'm not gonna talk about it too much because I've talked about it in my favorites video. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I love this for setting under my eyes. And then the NARS Creamy Custard Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Both of these hand in hand work great under my eyes. I definitely have to set this because it is super creamy. I didn't set it today and I can see that my mascara has been running. Now I have been running up and down the stairs helping Josh and Josh helping me bring some of our stuff up into this apartment. But if I had set it, it would have stayed in place. So yeah, these two together have been fantastic. And then the final item is the Ilure Brow Control and Shape Gel. Holds and conditions with Panthenol and Vitamin E. This I'm on the fence about. I think it's great. It's not anything special, but it definitely does get the job done. Now, one downfall of this product is I feel like you don't get that much product in the tube. I feel like all the product kind of sits in the very tail end of the wand, so you have to kind of dot it onto your brows and then brush it out, which I'm not a big fan of. But for the price, I'm gonna keep it. I don't know if I will repurchase it, but for now, I will continue to use this. So now that I've talked about the products that I used this past week, let's talk about the products I will be using this week. Now I will say there are some items that I didn't talk about that I've used over the past two weeks, and the only reason being is because I will be using those products this week as well. So first off, we're gonna start off with the primers. Now I have two primers. The first one I just wanna use up. I received as a sample size. It is a great, great primer, but it is not cruelty free, so I will not be purchasing a full size. And this is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. It is a beautiful, beautiful primer. If you don't care about cruelty free, I would recommend this one. It feels beautiful on the skin. Once I use that up, I'm gonna go back to my Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Hydrating. For foundation, I'm gonna try to use up the Smashbox Liquid Halo HD Foundation. I'm in the shade two. I love this foundation, but I've had it forever. So I want to use this up and that way I can purchase a new bottle. I've been holding onto it because I didn't want to use it up. I feel it's best to just get rid of it. 
bit and then start anew. And then when I want to wear something a little bit more light coverage, I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. For concealer, I'm gonna be using the NARS Off Matte Complete Concealer. I'm in the shade Custard. For powders, I'm gonna use two Laura Mercier products. The first one is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and then the other one is the Laura Mercier Mineral Press Powder in Natural Beige. For brows, I'm gonna be using my three brow products. The first one is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Medium Brown, and then I'll use my Pixie Brow Powder Palette, and then to set everything in, I'm gonna use the Eyelore Brow Gel. To set my face, I'm gonna be using up the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. I have a couple more coming in, which is really exciting, so I will be doing a haul. For highlight, I'm gonna be using this brand new product. This was sent to me by Influencer. This is the Marc Jacobs Coconut Gel Highlighter in Do You Do Drops. It is a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. This stuff is super expensive, but that is it right there. And then when I blend it out, it gives you a beautiful, beautiful, healthy, radiant glow. So I'm really excited to play with this. It smells delicious as well. Uh, and I will let you guys know if it's worth the money or not. I'm gonna be going back to this bronzer. This is the Ombre Radiance Bronzer by It Cosmetics, and it's in the shade Warm Radiance. And then to contour, I'm gonna be using my Smashbox Contour Pencil, and it just looks like that. It's a really nice, cool tone, creamy contour, and so I thought I would play with the creams this week. To prime my eyes, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Eyeshadow insurance and then I'm gonna be using this eye crayon this is the Laura Mercier caviar stick and this is in the shade rose gold for eyeshadow and also for my bronzer and blush I'm gonna be using this Lorac Pro to go eyeshadow palette the reason why I want to use this is I think it'll be great for a bridal makeup look so these are the eyeshadows right here I love this palette I've yet to use it for my makeup stash or trash series and so I thought I would use it this time and then it comes with these face products so you've got a bronzer you've got a pink blush and a coral blush so I will be playing with that this week. For liner, I'm gonna be using my two Marc Jacob highlighters. The first one is in the shade Earthquake, I think, yes, Earthquake, which is a nice brown, and then the Marc Jacob Black liner. And then for a neutral liner, I'm gonna be using the Pacifica Natural Minerals eyeliner, and then for liquid liner, I'm gonna use the Jessie's Girl liquid eyeliner. I'm almost at the end of this, and then I will use my Kat Von D Trooper liner. For mascara, I'm gonna go back to my Better Than Sex mascara. I just wanna use this one up, that way I can purchase a new tube. And then I'll be using the Clinique Bottom Lash mascara, and I'm almost with this one as well and then I can move on to my final tube of this and then finally we have lip products so I have three lip liners I will be using the first one is the makeup forever aqua lip liner in 2c I'm trying to use this one up but it's a great great lip liner the other one I'm gonna be using is the urban decay Gwen Stefani lip liner in rock steady it's a beautiful red and then the MAC cosmetics pro longwear lip pencil and absolutely it and the reason why I'm using those is because I'm using three different colors this week the first one is the Tarte Tartis lip paint and this is in the shade T BT. This is Nikki Philippi's favorite color. It's the reason why I purchased this. So I want to try this out. I haven't used it in forever, so I want to see if I love this or not. The other one I'm going to be using is this beautiful red, and that's what's going to be featured in this week's makeup tutorial for my bridal makeup series. Uh, but this is in the shade Bay. So yeah, I'm really excited to play with this. And then the final one is this Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Lipstick in Licorice. And I don't think I've ever really worn this. It's a beautiful shade, as you can see right there. So I wanna play with this and see if I like this and if I wanna keep it or if I wanna trash it. But yeah, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button if you want to be notified every time that I post a new video. But with that being said, I hope you have an amazing week. Stay blessed, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.